okay ma so see this one so ampere's circuital rule so wherever you find the symmetry in the circuit there you can use this ampere circuital rule to find out the strength of b dash are you able to understand sima in uh, electrostatics we used gauss law no gauss law what was the purpose of gauss law to find out electric field if there is symmetry clear no if there is a symmetry we used gauss law and we have calculated electric field so gauss law was an alternative of coulomb's law gauss law was what it was an alternative of coulomb's law are you able to understand me similarly this ampere's circuital rule i can call it as acr is an alternative of alternative of biot savert's law are able to understand me so by using coulomb's law also we calculated electric field only by using gauss law also we calculated electric field only by using biot savert's law we find out b dash that's what we have done no? and by using ampere circuital rule also we find out b dash only. then what is the difference difference is symmetry clear no ma coulomb's law you can use anywhere but gauss law you can use only if there is symmetry and very easily you get the calculations are you able to understand similarly biot savert's law you can use anywhere but ampere circuital law you can use only if there is symmetry understood no that is the difference now let us see how we can apply ampere circuital uh, rule so ampere's circuital rule okay sima so it says that the integration of r closed integration of magnetic field around a closed path around a closed path is equal to is equal to mu not times the current enclosed by current enclosed by amperes circuit amperes circuit clear no ma so this rule is called as ampere circuital rule now let us try to understand what is the meaning of this one see ma for example this is an infinite wire infinite wire okay so this infinite wire is carrying a current of i so here at this point p i want to find out magnetic field by biot savert's law also we have calculated no hmm? see ma so next concept which we are studying is magnetic field due to solenoid so my derivation we are not doing already we studied uh, ampere's circuital rule no ampere's circuital rule what is ampere circuital rule closed integration of b dash dot dl dash is equals to mu not times the current enclosed by the ampere's circuit this is what we have studied no ah. now magnetic field because of solenoid also we will find out by using this method only clear because here there is symmetry no wire is arranged in a symmetrical fashion so wherever you find symmetry definitely you can use ampere circuital rule but derivation we are not doing sima consider this is the loop which is out of board okay ma what is a solenoid a wire which is wound in the form of a spring it is called as a solenoid clear so this winding is out of the board and this winding is uh, inside the board clear now can you say what is the direction of magnetic field in this solenoid ma anybody hmm? what is the direction of magnetic field this is the turn which is out of the board and this is the turn which is present inside the board this is a three dimensional figure no when uh, this is the coil which is present out of the board then how can you say what is the direction of magnetic field 
see in a closed figure if this is the direction of current then can you say what is the direction of magnetic field hmm? we studied two rules Nama. one rule is we have studied right hand palm rule clear so place your palm in front of the coil and curl your fingers thumb gives the direction of magnetic field this is one method we have studied one more method is we have drawn the direction of s also no? do you remember so s indicates that magnetic lines are entering this coil because in a magnet how magnetic field will be present this is north pole and this is south pole. clear so magnetic loops they start from north pole or they come out of the north pole and they enter into south pole this is what happens no? so if this is south pole what is the meaning of it magnetic lines should enter this coil same concept apply here also clear so now this coil is arranged like this no this coil this loop clear number so this is the direction of current so just to curl it like this are you able to understand ma? so what is the method i have adopted here same method so before this coil place your right hand and see what is the direction of uh, current out of the board it is traveling from downwards to upwards are you able to understand so i have to curl my fingers in the direction of current i am curling from bottom to top only no so what is the direction of magnetic lines it is in this direction are you able to understand ma? so therefore i can say that this will be the direction of magnetic line this will be the direction or i can represent by this okay ma? so this is the direction of magnetic line inside this solenoid and magnetic lines always they are closed to loops no so therefore i can say this will be the direction of magnetic line clear and one more line if i draw this will be the direction of magnetic line are you able to understand me? so many many magnetic lines will be present around this solenoid okay but if you see all the magnetic lines inside the solenoid they are very closely packed no they are very closely packed but these lines they are very very less denser their density is very less because they are uh, distributed in a very large volume are you able to understand what is happening the magnetic lines which are present inside the solenoid they are densely packed their density is very large but what about the lines which are present uh, out of this solenoid they are present in a very large area so therefore i can say outside this solenoid you can consider magnetic field is zero outside the solenoid you can consider magnetic field is zero but inside it is not zero are you able to understand so therefore i can say that node points what are the node points i can write clear ma? so inside solenoid magnetic field is not zero but outside the solenoid magnetic field you can consider zero because the density of lines is very less no? are you able to understand that is why it is considered zero see for a magnet also same condition no for magnetic lines will be like this okay so here the strength of magnetic field will be very large but here you can consider strength is almost zero same concept here also okay now can you say in this solenoid which one is behaving like a south pole which one is behaving like a north pole huh? the north the south. Uh. so this you can consider as north pole what is the reason lines are coming out of the solenoid no so this is north pole here magnetic lines are entering the solenoid so this one you can consider as to be south pole are you able to understand so therefore current carrying solenoid also behaves like a magnet is it clear ma so therefore what is the point here we have to write point is that current carrying solenoid okay so current carrying solenoid behaves like what behaves like a magnet okay ma? and what is the magnetic field inside the solenoid its value is mu naught n into i derivation is not necessary for us so only formula we are writing clear number and here n is not number of turns ma don't be confused here here you should be very clear while solving the problems n is not number of turns n is what n is number of turns 
पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ सोलेनॉइड पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ सोलेनॉइड अरे बोल टू अंडरस्टैंड एन अंटे नंबर आफ् टन का अदेनारे एति पोते सीम ओके एन इज वाट नंबर आफ् टर्न पर् पर् लेंथ आफ द सोलेनॉइड अरे बोल टू अंडरस्टैंड फर् एग्जापल इफ ई टेक एन एग्जापल नंबर आफ् टर्न आर् टू हड्रेड ओके कैपिटल एम नंबर आफ् टर्न आर् टू हड्रेड टू हड्रेड टर्न एंड लेंथ आफ द सोलेनॉइड इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर now can you say what is n value n value is how much ha huh? n value ji number of turns is ah uh, 200 divided by 20 into 10 power minus 2 that's all number so that becomes my n value are you able to understand number of turns per unit length it is not number of turns so don't be confused here so therefore 20 divided by 20 multiplied by 10 square so therefore 20 tens are so 1000 1000 is the n value clear number so number of turns per unit length inside the solenoid is mu not n into i okay now see ma inside means where somewhere here 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 at all these points that will be the amount of magnetic field but at the ends of the solenoid ends means what if i take this end i will call is this point as point a or i take this end i will call this point as point b okay ma so at the ends of the solenoid magnetic field is, is exactly half of this one okay so write that statement therefore what i write at ends at ends of solenoid okay ma so magnetic field at point a is equals to magnetic field at point b is equals to half of mu not n into i that is the form okay ma so exactly at the center it is mu not n into i but at the ends ends of the so ends means this only no this end and this end here magnetic field will be exactly half of the magnetic field which is present inside this solenoid okay ma there are some proofs also we are not going for proofs just remember the formula okay now i will write one more case here case is that okay ma oh case is if solenoid is wound if solenoid is wound on any core on any core of permeability mu okay ma then what is the magnetic field then magnetic field is equals to mu n into i okay ma and we know that relative permeability mu r is equals to mu divided by mu not so therefore mu is equals to mu not into mu r therefore magnetic field is equals to mu not mu r n into i okay so this is one condition which you should remember so what is the meaning of this one can you see see ma here so inside this solenoid air is present no what is present here air is present so instead of that if i wind this one on any iron core or any material okay if i wind wind on this iron core then this iron core will have some permeability no and that permeability is mu okay so therefore instead of mu not n into i i have to write just mu into n into i and relative permeability we know permeability of any medium divided by permeability of free space mu not is what permeability of air or permeability of free space so therefore mu is equals to mu not mu r so instead of mu you are supposed to write mu not into mu r that's it clear right now. okay ma so next we are calculating magnetic field because of toroid what is meant by solenoid just this uh, solenoid if you take the ends of this and touch it then it will become a coil no that is called as a toroid and thank you amla clear so because of this toroid also inside the toroid magnetic field is mu not n into i same form clear ma no change and again n represents what here n is nothing but number of turns per unit length same form 
okay and again case also same case is if a core of permeability if a core of permeability mu is used then magnetic field is equals to mu n into i or you can write mu not mu r n into i that's it same condition okay ma see this so <coughs> magnetic field inside a current carrying wire so this is a current carrying wire so intala undadu uri ga started just this is a wire ma so at two points i want to find out total current ma so total current passing through this wire is i i amount of current is flowing current through wire is how much current through wire is how much current through wire is i okay and let us consider radius of this wire is r so this is the center of the wire so at uh, two points so this is one point point p which is present at a distance of r and from the same center here there is one more point point uh, q okay ma and whose distance also i will call it as r only so at these two points i want to find out magnetic field magnetic field at point p is how much and magnetic field at point q is how much clear no this i want to calculate okay so this is a current carrying wire wire in which current is flowing what is the total amount of current i amount of current is flowing so we know that current carrying conductor produces magnetic field no so that magnetic field i want to calculate at two positions one point is out of this conductor outside position and one point is present somewhere inside this conductor okay so i will calculate first of all magnetic field at uh, point p clear now and where is point p point p is present out of the uh, wire okay ma see how i can do this so this is the wire in which i amount of current is passing so from the center of the wire here there is point p which is present at a distance of r okay ma so i want to do this calculation by using ampere's circuital law or ampere's circuital rule okay so in ampere circuital rule first what i have to do first ampere circuit raj square first draw an ampere's circuit touching this point p here only i am supposed to find out magnetic field no ma so by touching that point first of all you draw a magnetic loop like this okay now can you say if this is the direction of current can you say at this point magnetic field will be in which direction sayantram lokal cheppe sayandi have you understood the question ma at this point point p what is the direction of b dash magnetic field is in which direction ha huh? out of the board kad munde da okate see ma this is the wire no so how to find out the direction of magnetic loop orientation huh? correct out of the board only see ma so i have to hold this conductor like this no clear so therefore my magnetic loop will be in which direction magnetic loop will be in this direction clear no ma so if this is the direction of current hold the conductor such that thumb is in the direction of current curling of fingers gives the direction of magnetic loop so here at point p magnetic loop is coming out of the board or inside the board out of the board no so here if i draw the tangent the tangent is perpendicular and out of the board clear no ma so tangent direction gives the direction of b dash no so b dash is perpendicular and out of the board so at the same position you take dl dash also that is the method of finding the ampere circuital rule no take dl dash so dl dash is also present in the same direction b dash is also perpendicular and out of the board dl dl dash means small length on ampere circuit that is also perpendicular and out of the board so therefore what i write b dash and dl dash are perpendicular and out of board 
Clear now? So apply the Ampere circuit at rule closed integration of B dash dot DL dash is equals to mu naught into Y. Okay. So angle between B dash and DL dash is how much? Zero. So therefore I will write B DL cos zero is equals to mu naught into I. B dash and DL dash are in same direction. Nama. So angle is zero. Cos zero? Huh? One. Mm. So integration of B DL is equals to mu naught into I. Clear? So therefore B is a constant. Integration of DL is equals to mu naught into I. So can you say how much is integration of DL? 2 pi? 2 pi R. Mm. See so my integration DL means what? Length of this total loop, no? Length of this total loop is nothing but circumference. So 2 pi R is equals to mu naught into. Now can you say what is I value? I value is how much? I. What is meant by I? I and I first of all. I is nothing but current enclosed by this ampere circuit, no? So ampere circuit is enclosing how much current? Total current. So it is enclosing total current, no? So I value is I only. Clear? So therefore B is equal to how much? Mu naught I divided by 2 pi R. So this already we have calculated three times, no? This is the fourth time we are doing. So this is nothing but magnetic field because of infinite conductor. Good thunda? Magnetic field because of infinite conductor mu naught by 4 pi i by a into sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2. And one time we have calculated by using ampere circuital rule also. This is the third time we are doing. Clear? First make a note up to here. So therefore this is the magnetic field where this is the magnetic field out of the y. Mu naught i divided by 2 pi into r. Okay? Ah. So now I want to calculate the second condition. So magnetic field at point. Likhen itumai bhi. Bola ni kaise bhiro? Mrind. Sima. So next we are studying magnetic field inside this coil. Previously we calculated here not point P. Okay ma? Now I am calculating inside this coil. Now here what is the method I have to adopt? Same concept. Again you draw an ampere circuit touching this point Q. Okay ma? So touching this point Q, you are supposed to draw an Ampere's circuit. So now, to this Ampere's circuit, again uh, same directions will be there. No? This is the direction of B dash and this will be the direction of DL dash. Clear no? So here also I will say B dash and DL dash are perpendicular and out of the board. Clear ma? So both of them, they are perpendicular and out of the board. Okay, now see. So therefore, closed integration of B dash dot DL dash is equals to mu naught I dash. Why I am writing I dash here? In the I dash and the I dash and the current See ma, current in this wire is passing through every cross section. No? Throughout this wire current is flowing. But I represents what here? I represents current enclosed only by Ampere's circuit only. It means this Ampere circuit, it is not enclosing total current. No? It is enclosing only small amount of current. So that amount of current is nothing but I dash. Okay. So therefore, what is I dash here? I dash is current enclosed by whom? Current enclosed by Ampere's circuit. Okay. So again use the same relation. Now can you say first of all how to find out I dash value? Fraction. Every fraction. Mm. Current how it is divided? Current is divided in uh, pi r square. No? We are taking only cross section. No? Cross section means we have to take pi r square. Pi r square lo divide on the current. If you look the wire from here, what you will find? You will find a circle. Circle area, pi r square. So current is present throughout the circuit. So therefore, how can I find out I dash value total current multiplied by pi and what is the radius of this ampere circuit? Pi r square. And what is the radius of total wire? Capital R square. That's all number. This fraction will give the amount of current enclosed by the coil circuit. 
Are you able to understand? Current is distributed in area here, pi r square. Okay? So therefore, pi pi get cancelled. So i dash value is how much? i into r square divided by r square. Now apply the Ampere's circuital rule. So B D B integration of DL is equals to mu naught multiplied by I dash. I dash value is I small r square divided by capital R square. Clear ma? So integration of B uh, integration of DL. Nothing but uh, area length of this ampere circuit. No? Length of ampere circuit is how much? 2 pi into small r. So 2 pi into small r is equals to mu naught i small r square divided by capital R square. So r and square get cancelled. Still anything? Nothing. So b is equals to mu naught i r divided by 2 pi into r square. So this is the magnetic field which is present inside the wire at a distance of r. Okay? That's it. Okay, ma? Clear? See, ma? Now, for this uh, same condition, if I want to draw a graph of how B value changes with respect to distance from the center. So, what is this origin? This is the distance at the center, exactly at the middle of this uh, conductor. Clear, no? Ma? So, as I move away from the conductor and as I reach this point P, can you say how the value of B will change? Decrease of them. See the equations. Anybody? Huh? Sima, this is the B value uh, inside this wire, no? And inside the wire, what is the equation? mu naught i r divided by 2 pi r square. Okay? Mu naught is a constant, i is a constant, 2 pi is a constant, r square is also a constant. B naught is directly proportional to r. Clear, no? It means if you travel from center towards the surface, surface means up to this point, what happens? The strength of B dash continuously increases. Because inside the wire, this is the formula, no? So B is directly proportional to r here. Are you able to understand, ma? So I can say B is directly proportional to R. And exactly at the center it will be how much? Exactly at the center of conductor? Chapande. Zero. Because if R value becomes zero, B value also will become zero. Now from outside points, what is the equation for outside points? Mu naught I divided by 2 pi into small r for outside points. So therefore B is inversely proportional to R, no? Therefore how my graph will be? My graph will be like this. So here B is inversely proportional to R. Okay, ma? And what is this point? This is the point exactly at the surface. So therefore on the surface, magnetic field is maximum. As you go inside the surface, it decreases. As you go out of the surface, then also it reduces. Only at the surface, B value is maximum. Have you understood? Make a note of it. Jayanti intanava, yada burakata chepinatu, yandu japtana ila saran kutarava. Clear, ma? So therefore, what is the points which we have to write here? Points are that at surface B is B max. Okay, ma? So at the surface, if it is maximum, it means if you go out of the surface also, it reduces. Inside the surface also, it reduces. And magnetic field exactly at the center of current carrying conductor is how much? Zero. These are the points.